Hi, this is Jess. Today I'm here to talk about a creature known as a living fossil. A fossil is any evidence of plant or animal life that's been preserved in the material of the Earth's crust. They're the clues of what was living millions of years ago. But what does living fossil mean? It's basically an organism that's changed very little from its earlier ancestors. Here we have uh, an example of a living fossil known as the horseshoe crab. Have you ever seen a horseshoe crab? Horseshoe crabs can be found right here on the beaches of Westport. They're known as living fossils, and that means that there's been little evolutionary need for these creatures to change. The anatomy of these creatures has been the same and not really changed very much from the older forms um, that existed 445 million years ago. The lifespan of a horseshoe crab, just a regular horseshoe crab in the wild, um, isn't millions of years. Uh, that's just how old their ancestors are. Um, they normally live to be about 20 years in the wild, which is still pretty good. This is a model of a horseshoe crab that we have here at Warwa. Um, so it's not real, but it shows you basically all of like the anatomy um, of the horseshoe crab. And I'll just kind of dissect it and show you what we have um, that makes the horseshoe crab so special. And what about the horseshoe crab um, has helped it uh, be around for so long? The gills only need a little bit of moisture for the horseshoe crab to survive. This is important because horseshoe crabs, like turtles, go out onto the sand to lay their eggs. So if horseshoe crab goes out, it'll be okay if it doesn't get back to the water right away because the tide went in. The tail of the horseshoe crab helps the creature to steer itself and also to help flip itself back onto its legs when it's done eating and when it gets stuck onto its back, like when it's in the waves and stuff. We can see here um, a horseshoe crab is eating. So the opening um, is where its mouth is and it's using its hind legs to break up food and it, the smaller front appendages to um, place the food into its mouth. The legs also help the horseshoe crab swim and walk. The horseshoe crab has a number of eyes. The most obvious eyes are these two called the lateral compound eyes. These eyes are used for finding a mate during the egg laying season. There are around seven secondary eyes that can be found all across the um, creature's body. They help the crab follow the lunar cycle. These are important because the crabs lay their eggs according to the moon and um, when the new moon and when the full moon come that's their um, peak times to lay their eggs. A big reason why horseshoe crabs have been so abundant is because of the enormous number of eggs the female lays at a time. When spawning a female will lay up to 20 clusters of several thousand eggs. Around 90,000 eggs are laid per season by a single female. Only a few eggs will actually hatch and egg, egg laying in such a large number ensures that this will happen. They also have a special kind of blood which is blue. It hardens up or coagulates when it encounters bacteria. They can wall up any wounds they receive. Horseshoe crabs have a shell, known as an exoskeleton, on the outside of their body. To grow, the horseshoe crab must shed its old exoskeleton and form a new body underneath. It's called molting. The creature starts growing its body underneath and um, drinks a bunch of water and kind of bursts out of the front of its shell. Sometimes you find this exoskeleton of a horseshoe crab on the beach. The horseshoe crab molts several times during its first year and may reach the width of about a half an inch in that first year.
Horseshoe crabs are one of nature's greatest survivors. They've been around since before the dinosaurs and are still around today. This is because of the physical characteristics and adaptations that we just learned about. These creatures have survived three mass extinctions in the Earth's history, which killed off most other creatures. Those are just some of the things about the horseshoe crab that have made them able to look the same for millions of years. In recent years, humans have impacted horseshoe crab populations a lot. Horseshoe crabs are used as bait for eel and whelk fisheries. Thousands of horseshoe crabs are killed each year for bait. Pollution also greatly impacts horseshoe crab populations and habitats. Humans are the greatest threat to horseshoe crabs. Horseshoe crabs are an important part of the ecology of coastal communities. Today, horseshoe crab populations are shrinking, and that impacts birds and fish because their eggs are major food sources for shorebirds and other creatures. To help the horseshoe crab populations, some coastal states have enacted laws that restrict the catch numbers for bait as ways to conserve their population. Next time you see a horseshoe crab, remember that these creatures have been around for a long time. Be sure to respect the creature because humans play the biggest role in their population loss. And we can help them by just leaving them alone. Thanks for joining me today learning about how horseshoe crabs are living fossils.